I did something dumb. <sighs> See, this thing is dead, and I wasted money that I shouldn't have. When you live in an area like I do, where there's above ground electrical coming into the house, there's often little brownouts or sometimes power outages for a number of hours. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I shouldn't complain. Some people in the world have power outages as a daily thing. I should consider myself lucky, but that's beside the point. This is a UPS that I've had for many years, and I got it because I wanted to protect any equipment I have here from being damaged during one of those power outages. Outages. It's got like USB ports on it. It's got a 1500 watts, I think. That's what that means, maybe. Don't take my word on that. I don't think it's 1500 watts because that would be crazy. It would be bigger than this. But it's the 1500 model by CyberPower, whatever that is. It's got battery plugs and it's got regular surge plugs. All these are helpful in an office. But when you buy something like that, you put it down there on the floor and you expect it to just work for a long time. I haven't thought about that thing for years until... What? It started being annoying and beeping all the time. So after not thinking about it for a while, I thought I'd give them a call to see if they can replace the whatever got damaged in there, be it a battery or whatever. Help me troubleshoot and maybe even replace some of the parts that are broken. I have a UPS after working fine and perfectly well for a number of years. Yesterday, it just uh, started beeping. It gave me a code F03. Zero three at thirty means the internal charge board has been uh, damaged, and with this kind of concern, what we usually suggest is to replace the entire unit to ensure also the safety of your devices. If you think you purchased it for about uh, more than five years, it would be best for you to uh, you know uh, get a new one instead of uh, replacing the battery that's still not going to fix it. So what can I do now? Technically speaking, might as well get a new unit. So we do not want to recommend you the, uh, to only risk in replacing the battery that will not guarantee fixing the issue. I wonder how that happened though, because as soon as I got it, I put it under my desk and there it stayed for many years, never moved anywhere. How could it have internal damage? If your unit is too old and then there's uh, lots of power outage that happens, so there's a high chance that it could uh, also be, you know, the, f the fault of the unit. That's why it's showing you that kind of a zero three error. Is there any way to check if this is under warranty? Yeah, sure. But if you got the serial number right now, I can uh, double check it. Okay, it's the one on the back, right? All right, so uh, when I use the product warranty, a lookup tool, it shows here that uh, the warranty has already expired. Oh, it expired. I am curious though, this error message, could it possibly be the battery still or is it always the circuit board? It's actually the circuit board. So most likely if the issue is only the battery, it's uh, an E0 and not F03. Okay, all right, thank you so much. <sighs> I dust it regularly. I don't know what could have happened to it. I cannot believe that this thing lasts only, what, five years. And I think I only had it for four years. That's just crazy to me that you buy something that's, you know, it's supposed to last a while. It's a UPS. I'm not doing anything crazy with it. It's not in a cart where I go from building to building. It's just sitting under my desk and I dust it. A shout out to CyberPower and a reminder. Started December 8th, 2022. Three weeks ago, the UPS completely shut down with the FO3 error code and, and wouldn't power anything. Turning the unit back on would last only about 10 to 15 minutes. That's exactly my problem. Calling cyber power tech support revealed the fault code indicated a charging issue. However, it was uncertain whether the issue was a charging system itself or a dead battery unable to be charged. I uh, had an issue yesterday. Uh, I have a cyber power. No, the battery's never been replaced. Uh, it's just sitting under my desk. Uh, I didn't move it or anything. So because of the age of the unit, it looks like this was manufactured in 2015. Um, typically, these seal the last batteries in the units typically last between three to five years. And then we recommend replacing them. The constant beeping was indicating that the unit went into a low utility failure and that the battery in the unit was going to be exhausted. So that's why everything shut off. Oh, the battery is exhausted. So what can I do uh, about that? For something this old, we recommend a full replacement because we can't see how much surge protection has degraded over time. We recommend a full replacement after seven years gotcha okay so you're saying replacing the battery would be kind of pointless not even try it just buy the whole new unit yes i'd recommend purchasing a new unit how long do they normally last we recommend seven years and then we recommend a full replacement 
but can I buy it from you guys at a discount or is do I have to go somewhere else like Micro Center or Amazon? Yeah, we recommend uh, Micro Center will have these. If you do purchase the unit from Micro Center, I recommend contacting us with the serial number so that we can give you the date of manufacture just so it's not being resold to you. All right. Well, have a yeah. good one. Thank you so much. After the phone call, I was about to purchase a new one of these, a 1500. And I thought, wait a minute, things have changed in my life. I, I no longer have a desktop computer that's eating up so much power. I mostly use laptops nowadays, which don't really need a UPS. It would be nice to have UPS for mini PCs that I sometimes have on my desk and to protect my camera equipment that I have for making these videos. It's just a nice thing to have, but I did not need such a big UPS. So I thought I would save some money and I ended up getting a small one that didn't come out right. Never mind. We're talking about wattage here, right? I thought since they were nice, I would order another cyber power. They did have nice support. And from what I read online, they do have good support whenever you're within the warranty period, okay? So I went with this one, tiny little one, just enough for protection, 425 VA, 260 watts, eight outlets. It's not watts, the 1500 number is VA. The VA refers to volt amperes, which is the parent power rating. So it's the second number that you wanna look at. In the case of the little one I just bought, it's the 260 watts. I thought I would be good with the 260 watts. After all, these new machines are so energy efficient. Mini PCs take up what? 50 watts, maybe 70. And then one day came when I decided to do this experiment. An RTX 4090 hooked up to a 1200 watt power supply on my desk for doing machine learning and LLM stuff and image generation, things like that. I'm doing AI, okay? <laughs> my computer has a co-pilot button. Anyway, I have a separate video on that. Don't miss it if you haven't seen it yet. So of course, when I plug that in, write me a 1000 word story and go. And there it goes. The UPS is complaining. It does not like that because the power usage on this thing is going up. Ugh. You know what this means, right? This means I now need another UPS. O Llama run Llama 3.1. Tell me a 100 word story. This is the less glamorous side of doing these videos is um, when stuff just stops working. Well, it turns out some kind of update came in and changed some settings. So I had to go into the BIOS and enable this card to be the primary and the IGFX or the internal graphics to be the secondary. So it's always an update, always. O Llama, tell me a story, boom. Look how fast it's going. And we are getting some draw from this UPS, but it's quiet and I like it that way. Now, unfortunately, I now have two of these, this big boy and that one, and uh, I wasted money, yeah. So here's the public service announcement. If you are gonna get a UPS, if you're in a situation where you need it, or I actually recommend that you have one, make sure you get the right one for you depending on how much power you need. Don't be stupid like this guy. Anyway, if you wanna see the AI videos that I'm doing, uh, it's probably gonna be up here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.